Hi, welcome to 152. Welcome. Tonight we continue the music studies of Jeremiah Polachek. Mm -hmm. And you may recall that I made three recommendations for you. One, to continue learning your instrument. Mm -hmm. Two, learn to read notes. And three, to get comfortable with the keyboard. Yes. Tonight's activity will focus on learning the notes and some activity with the keyboard. Okay. We are also kind of moving through this in first year theory book. And in the first chapter, it gave us three elements of music, which are kind of basic melody, rhythm, and do you remember what the third one was? Harmony. Yes. Melody, rhythm, and harmony. So our goal tonight is to uh, remind, uh, review notation and how the staff system works. Mm. And we'll, if we have time, we'll do a little activity with the piano uh, and reading the notes and playing them on the piano. <clears throat> no, I just forget what I was going to say. Uh, oh, yeah. So our goal is to continue uh, our skills in reading the notes on the staff. Okay. And also, if possible, applying them to the keyboard. Now, one little realization I had is I think most people learn their notes first by working with the piano and because they're trying to learn how to play middle C and this. But we're, we're starting with the, the staff itself, and you're playing the musical of the, the guitar. Now, here's an, a pedagogical thing that you might find useful. Maybe you and your friends at your university talk like this. But I introduced you to the staff the other day, and you became more aware how it works. Mm. So by I introduce it, eventually a person practices the skill until they are until they master it right so just knowing how it works is is one thing it's knowledge yeah but it doesn't mastery and so by practicing today you're going to get closer and more more experience that will move toward mastery so I'm giving well why don't we put double it so it's I've made some staffs here and can you explain how this works this is the treble, this is the bass. Each line represents a note, and each space represents a note. Right, and then there is one in the middle that's kind of home base. Middle C is in the it, middle. And it has no line because you make oh. your own line for it. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do now is you're going to do some thinking. It's okay. unpleasant thinking as you do your move toward mastery. Mm. Now, I'm going to first start off with reminding us that right down here, underneath this one, is an F. Okay. And I'm going to remind us that this is a C. And I'm going to use the line because that is what we call a quarter note when we get to rhythm. Okay. So the first thing I'd like you to do with this, those, that, this one treble bass is... Find and mark all the Fs, and don't go, and you know that if you went below, you'd have to keep adding lines. Do you recall that? Yeah. And if you were going above, you'd have to keep adding, but okay. we don't have enough room for that. So we're just going to have you do the, you know this is an F, so find and mark in, in basically in this space. This is an F? This is an F. And mark. I thought it went like, it doesn't go face like this uh, no, oh, oh, oh. uh just a moment that would be the f up here what is where can you show it okay i yes i'm going to answer the question of here is an f why c d e f it's in the middle it's in the middle of these two lines. Okay. What would be next on the line? 
E. What is it? E. It's up. This is F, so this would be G. G. And then, and then we go up another one. E. What after E is the first D. Note, A, actually. It starts over. That's okay. Okay. So then this is B, C, Can we D. just write down the notes on your thing? Uh, well, I was going to have you find <laughs> them, but uh, I think, no, I can see that mastering this, it, it takes some thinking, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And that's fine. So I'm just going to say right here, it's G, and this is a C, this is an F, and <clears throat> you know that after G, the thing starts over at A. So I'm going to put an A here. Uh, using a quarter note, that's an A, this is an F, and this is a C, and this is an F. And if this is F, then this is G on the line, and then the next, this is, starts over with A. Why is this A up here and that A is down there? Because the staff is working Middle C and everything below it is, it just follows, this is C, so this is B, this is A, okay. this is G. And it's, it, it, it's telling us... So there's two different yes. things for each. Right, and it's going down, and this one is going up. So the face in the GD, every good boy deserves fudge, is what I learned. You, because e you were working in the treble clef. So this is E, G, D, B, F? Yeah, where was your E? I don't know. E, G, D, B, F. Uh, it, I'm going to do your E. This is good because we're... Yeah, notice what we're doing. It. We are thinking and it's unpleasant and okay. it's hard work. Yeah. Where so uh, did, we could go from the bottom, E, G, what's the next one? D, D, e G what? Every every good boy deserves fudge is what I learned. E G D B F. I'm gonna write that. Here is an E. Okay. Where is a G? And then the G. Okay, so that's how it works. D. Every good boy. B. D. And the next F. Okay. So we've got. E, G, B, D, F. Okay. Every good boy yep. deserves fudge. So now we've marked my original assignment. Here's an F, and here's an F. Mm. And I'm also saying in the left hand, the, the bass clef, here's an F. Can you find, and let's say use it, in the treble clef, there are two Fs that we can see that are not above the line. Yeah. So can you mark those in here for you? You know where they are. Here and here. Can you now make your own pretty quarter note? Uh, that is an E. Oh. That's okay. You see that that... So this is F. That's F. That is correct. Now, <clears throat> let's do some thinking here. If this is A, or F, and this is the A, where, where would the next one up would be? B. B. And the C. next one up? C. C. Next one up? D. Next one up? E. And then? F. So let's mark right on the line. Very good. Very off. Yes. Sometimes when you're in the treble clef, in the bass clef, you make the line go down just so it doesn't crowd it out. But and I learned this like F, A, C, E. Face. Oh, I guess it does work that way in the left hand too. <laughs> you are so smart. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's say we've got... Can you tell us what we, how, how many C's have we marked here? Or how many C's do we have available? There's a C and there's a C. Are there any other C's? 
And can, if they're not, um, can you figure the, where they would be? This would be a C, I think. There's the C. Why don't you just say C by it? Okay, so there's a C. Okay, and so point out with your fingers each C. 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 And how about down here? There's a C. And the next C would be this one. Actually, it would, there'd be more. Eight up okay. would be this one here. So now, over on the remainder. And what is this? F. So this is that's G. an F, and that would be a G. Very good. Okay. Right. And you can see the next one up is A, mm. B on the line, and then it turns out it, home base C. Yes. So up here, would you write just rather than the clutter, write in every. C as you see if you can figure it out without looking but do it over here we have a little space some C all I think we had what four C three C's or something like that well there's middle C yes very good and then we have why don't you put the line through it so it yeah, it's definitely a yes that's the C middle C can you find another middle a spot from another C very good C. Okay, how about a C in the left, in the base clef? Well, we could do B, A, G. Yes, and before G. F. Yes. E, D, C. And, and there's your C, very good. Wow. Woo, can you in this same space mark the F's. Well, in the bass clef? Yeah, both. Because we know we, we... So this is C, D, E, F. It's on the line, right? Do you see it's on the line? Yeah. Okay. Then this is G, and then we go to the middle C. Yeah. Where and is then it? this is B, A, and then we'd have to go... Uh -oh. So, uh, let's see, this is a C, B, A, G, here's the F, is underneath, you recognize it over here? Yeah. Do you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so we've done, can you find another F, the F's in the treble clef? C, D, E, F. Between the lines, very good. G, A, B, C, D, E, F. There it is. Very good. How much time do we have? Not much. I would think not. Okay. It says one minute and a half. Oh, okay. So since we're uh, doing this exercise very well, would you find an A someplace? And mark your own A, even if you have to look at some place up. Uh, well, that's it's good. pretty. Yeah, okay, if you want to do that, that's fine. There's an A. Um, B, C, D, E, F. Ooh, but now we've run out of lines. Yeah. So, okay, we got. Let's see, is that right? Yeah, G. Oh, yeah, A is what? C, D, E, F, G, A should be in the middle of the line, middle of, in between them. That's good. Very good. I'm going to show you a little thing here. Then we go B, C, D, E, F, and here's G on the top of the line. And if I want to do an A, there's no line. So I'm going to have to add it. So once I get above the line, I am going to, I had to add that line as if it stretched all the way across. Mm. Is that incredible? So now we're, you're getting used to the concept of the staff and the notes on the staff and how that works as a graph. Yeah. And by thinking about it, you're moving toward some kind of mastery. Very cool. All right. Whoa.